Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well and uh, spending some quality time for your exam preparations. We'll start with our today's question. An 80 year old client is receiving amikacin, an aminoglycoside antibiotic IVPB every 12 hours. So an 80 year old client who is on amikacin and he is taking this dose every 12 hours. Which data obtained by the nurse is most important to report to the healthcare provider before hanging the next dose? So, some of the information obtained by the nurse should might be alarming or might be uh, very uh, serious which requires an attention by the healthcare provider before giving the next dose of amikacin. So, we will see out of the four options which might be more alarming or which might require an immediate attention. So option 1 says blood pressure of 104 by 62 mm of Hg. Option 2, blood urea nitrogen 20 mg per dl. Option 3, client report of tinnitus. Option 4, urine output of 400 ml since last dose. So here the option 1 says blood pressure of 104 by 62 mm of Hg. We know that blood pressure is not something generally uh, related with the IV antibiotics. And the patient most of the time taking these antibiotics for any treatment of sepsis. So, uh, if we found the blood pressure is it's a low value, but we have to compare this value with the previous reading because some uh, old client they might have a low value of low BP and uh, it might be in a normal range for compared to their previous readings. Even though we should keep monitor on the blood pressure value, so we'll keep that point aside and we'll go to the another point. So the second option says blood urea nitrogen 20 mg per dl. Okay, the normal uh, burn value it will be between 8 and 20. So it's within the range of uh, normal. However, it is in the uh, the highest end, which means 20 mg per dl. So we should keep on monitor this value also. But it's not something uh, very urgent or not something might leads to uh, halt the next dose of amikacin. So the third option says client report of tinnitus. So what do you mean by tinnitus? We studied that this group of aminoglycoside antibiotics, one of the main or some of the main side effects are nephrotoxicity and ototoxicity. So the tinnitus and vertigo are the earliest signs of ototoxicity. So when we obtain an information that a client have a uh, the balance problem or vertigo or a tin is it, it should be alarming. It is an alarming sign that the client showing the earliest signs of ototoxicity. So we should immediately raise the concern to the doctor that the client have these kind of problems and the client is on this particular medication. So there will be a connection with that one and they might be suggested to, to hold the next dose of medication or to go with uh, some other evaluations and management. And the nephrotoxicity also one of the uh, common side effect of uh, this uh, group of uh, medications like uh, dobramycin and chendamycin. So these are some of the group of aminoglycosides medications. So uh, this is something very uh, urgent or something very important that the nurse should inform the healthcare provider before hanging the next dose of medication. So we got our answer. Our answer is option 3. And we will see the option 4 also, urine output of 400 ml since last dose. So which means that uh, the output is adequate because uh, we said that every 12 hours the client is receiving medication. So the since last dose means it's almost 12 hours. So third, more than 30 ml per hour the client is having the urine output. That is an adequate amount. So that is not something very alarming. So our option 3 will be the answer and other 3 options client require monitoring but it's not something that immediately informed the healthcare provider before hanging the next dose of amicacin. I hope it's clear.